Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas with, well, a slightly undressed Beretta. <laughs> That's quite the getup. And a very mysterious, very worrying situation here in this really strange scientific facility. I can only walk very slowly here. Ah, because I'm over encumbered. How am I over encumbered? Hmm. Well, maybe I should leave some of these things in our storage downstairs, so let's do that. And try to figure out what the hell is going on around here. I do want to have a chat with uh, one, a few of these uh, robots. To get a bit uh, of a handle on things. We are very out of our comfort zone uh, out here. Very, very, very out of our comfort zone. So, uh, where was the storage area? Just the generic storage area. Maybe over there by the bed. Oh, I don't think we'd seen this before. Oh, I think that's our spine. Let's take a look at that in a bit. Okay, what do we want to leave? Oh, and we, they gave us... What the hell is this thing? Hmm. Well, we can leave a 10 mil behind, I think. We can certainly leave this thing behind. I'm not gonna use a patient gun. I don't need those things. I'll have a lot of prickly pear to eat. You don't need the wine. Does that thing we use... Oh yeah, energy cells. Hmm. And this uses 357. What? Huh, like a cowboy repeater. Twenty-five damage. Better than the All-American, at least at this level of uh, condition. Hmm. But this thing, wow, is it heavy. Ooh. Let's see what it looks like. What? I think it barked. Huh. It's got dog ears and a sniffing nose. Oh, no wonder so it's 
It's got an ammo box in the back. Ah. I see. Uh, well, how about... Well, it is imposing. Almost looks like a hover bike or something. Yeah, it's got some sort of a mechanical sniffing thing right there. Hmm. Certainly looks cool, but ugh, just the weight of it. Sorry, little doggy. Yeah, thought so. What else is weighing us down so much? I mean, did we bring too much stuff? Probably. Well, all the sunset sarsaparilla. And I think we'll need four stealth boys, not in one go at least. I don't need to take that either. A lot of water. We might need that. Maybe not eight. Well, that's a Nuka Cola. Mm. Yeah, certainly too many doctor's bags. I hope that's too many. I don't expect to be crippled all that often. Hmm. And these energy cells are, are weighing us down. Do we use 357 for anything else? I don't think so, right? 308 and uh, just the 556 and the 45, yeah. So all this ammo, we can leave behind. Okay, so that's better on the weight front. That's more like it. Okay. Huh. Well, well, well. Lots of things to discover, so... Scientific stuff. Here's your spine! Without a brainstem to snap it onto, here it floats. Your back doesn't feel any different from the spine's removal. If anything, whatever was placed in there makes you feel stronger. Hmm. I'd still maybe like to have it back. Maybe? This one's empty. Hmm. Based on the other tanks in the room, you can safely assume this is where your brain would be floating. It's currently missing from both the tank and its proper place in your head. But you seem to be doing fine just with that. Yeah, just fine without it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. This is our heart. Right? Looks like it. It's a bit jaundiced? What is that? This is your heart. Apparently, cranial surgery complications required its removal. And until your brain is returned, your heart can't be trusted to keep beating in your body. Your new heart seems to be working just fine, however. Well, let's hope we can keep that up. Spineless, heartless, and brainless. Not much difference, really. Uh, aren't we usually heartless? Well, more often than we'd like, at least. Ha! Huh. Okay, well. What is our mission? Go to this again. Oh, yes! They gave us a thingy. Sonic Emitter Revelation, now available in the Inventor Interface. Salutations and felicitations, sir, and a most jocund welcome to the sink. I am your electronic valet and household central processor. May I be of service, sir? Sir, well, you are aware that Beretta is a woman, right? Hmm. Valet. Guess they didn't program the correct 
pronunciation of Vale. But I'm guessing that um, that's because you're some kind of artificial intelligence, right? Regrettably not, sir. All modules in this habitat are synthetic personalities atop a mundane operating system. Ah. There's no intelligence here, sir. Right. Well, a bit of a, a giveaway the way you uh, started off. So, but you mean that there are other personality modules? Indeed, sir. Though if sir's aim is to activate them, I lament to inform, sir, that most have been offline for some years. If sir were to ask my opinion, I, I would. would venture that sir is better off without them. However, if sir is determined to inflict upon sir's self their dubious services, sir might locate backup personality disks elsewhere in the facility. Ah, I see. So... But can I access their functions without the personality tapes? Tragically, the core operating systems are also located on the personality tapes, sir. Once the tape is installed, sir may request I switch their dialectic interfaces off, and I shall oblige with great delectation. However, sir will still be required to locate and install a backup holotape to access their functionality. Ah, yes, it is with rotunda uh, comprehension that uh, I uh, thank you for your explanation. Um, why are there so many personality modules? As I am given to understand, sir, this facility was once the property of a Dr. Mobius. He crafted the personality modules as part of a collection of experiments on the subject of machine-human interface. As to the reason for the unusual choices of devices to receive the modules, I cannot say. Madness, perhaps. Ah, just uh, a guess. Indubitably, sir. Right, and besides these uh, perfectly serviceable explanations, what services do you provide? In addition to managing the personality matrices of the other household utilities, I can provide, sir, with direct access to the commissary. Any goods, sir, might require may be purchased through my shopkeep interface. Whence tiny robots should deliver them forthwith to this very domicile. I see. Can you repair things? Very good, sir. Ah. Oh, you charge. Oh. No, 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 no. Might I be of service, sir? Yes. Um, I'd like to see uh, what you have for sale. Very good, sir. Well, lots of ammo. Won't be running out of that. Ah, doctor's bags. Uh, perhaps a um, an omen of future needs. Certainly, I hope not. Uh, right away, rockets, scientist scrubs. Ah, they're different from what we have. Maybe, maybe not. And, ah, uh, Sun Committee Revolution. I think that's the one we have. Right? Yes. And we have Mad Scientist Scrubs. Right. So, potentially better than just actually, yeah. Ever so slightly better than just Scientist Scrubs. Well, we can sell things to him a then. Rapturous good morrow on your return to your domicile, sir. I trust you shall find things in order and the riffraff contained. Hopefully so, uh, whatever riffraff there may be about. Hmm. Well, it's certainly a living area. Rather clinically cold. Ah. Uh. So, let's go to the think tank. Pick some of these brains' brains. Oh, is there... Uh... Oh, there is. Lobotomite goggles. Hmm. Minus two intelligence if you wear them. That's no good. But they're worth a bit. Eh, might sell them to the sink. AI. Duct tape. Microfusion cells. Some turpentine. Hmm.
Okay, well, let's uh, rummage around a bit. Can we do... Ah, we can. So, Stimpex we have a lot of. Uh, other drugs are uh, sometimes a bit more difficult to get a hold of. So, let's do that. Anything good in here? Ah, I'll take... Maybe we can use the wrenches for some uh, weapon repair kits. I do believe that's what they can be used for. I think. We'll double check. I'll just take them. Yeah, take this. So. Excuse me. Breaking news! Talking lobotomite arrives from Think Tank. Its purpose, unknown. Undefinable. Its presence here, impossible. Right. I do think you meant impossible, right? Oh, really? Now the lobotomite is a master of the dictionary arts. Will you have a doctorate in verbology? No? I do. And... Stop the presses! Just in for my eye monitors! Is that Rob Kotek on your arm? It is! Yes. What's your agenda bringing that in here? My Pip-Boy. Hmm. Some problem with Robco? How dare you bring Rob Kotek in here! What are you showing off? How great Robert House and his big company are! Oh, we can make Securitrons better than any robot those geniuses of Big Mountain can make, and they'll last a thousand years. Uh, you're lucky I don't have hands to tear that dip boy off your arm, or feet to stomp on its stupid metal guts. Ugh, damn Robco. Ah, a bit of an inferiority complex. Uh, did you by chance ever own a hotel uh, called Faulty Towers? No? Hmm. Just calm down. Uh, I don't think I'll worry you by telling you that House and his robots have been up to, uh, since last you've seen a few. Worry about House? Why would I do this? Hope he died alone in a dingy room, streaming his last remaining bodily fluids into jars. And him and his dirty girl bots. Don't even get me started on those filthy biological catcher's mitts. Right. Um, how about those questions, then? Fine. Ask. Doctor O, um, would you happen to have any more of those completely worthless caps? I'd have a few left. Let me check. Yeah, there were a few under the monitors here. Here you go. Keeps the place tidy. Thank you. Well, 50 is more than, uh, nothing, I guess. So... What can you tell me about, uh, this place? Big Mountain used to be a mountain. Then there was a slight mishap. Now it's a crater. The dome used to be buried, now it's exposed to the sky. Don't get me wrong. Makes the sky light up like a planetarium at night. All those spectra. So soothing. Right. Uh, soothing. Hmm, yeah. A very appropriate word and by that I mean completely inappropriate um, not at all uh, <laughs> the feel uh, of the place uh, so tell me about Mobius and uh, those uh, scorpion monsters of his that genius Mobius somehow cobbles together these really impressive looking robot scorpions with spare parts even painted them try to see mm. what makes them tick can't even examine them without them detonating all over me. Left with shrapnel and burns. Every. Time. Supposedly, huh. he has even larger models. Even a giant robot scorpion hidden deep within the Forbidden Zone. Ooh. Yeah. Right. Giant monsters. Sure. Well, <laughs> I've seen strange things. Um, a giant robot scorpion? How giant are you talking? Because uh, I had a close encounter with a pretty big uh, non-robot uh, uh, scorpion uh, not that long ago. Not keen on repeating the experience. Yeah, crazy, right? Something right out of a midnight science fiction feature. Ridiculous. What are the odds? 
Right. Hmm. Dr. O, uh, do you have an actual name? Yeah, I do. It wasn't always O. I just took that one by default because sometimes it's easier to accept the mistake as long as the purpose works. I don't want to get into it. It's a sore topic with me. It makes my gel ripple. Really? I, uh, you know, I'm a pretty good listener. Great! Psychology! Clearly the worst of the sciences, right after colosto diuretics. Okay, so my name is an O. Never was. It was circular, a single character, digit, but not O. But even with enhanced sensors, no one here could get it right. I always kept seeing the letter, not the number. So, you're Dr. Zero, not Dr. O. Yes, thank you. Zero. I am Zero. How hard is that? A narrow, thin Zero. Well, um, okay. <laughs> Much more impressive. So, do you want me to call you Zero or... Um... Zero's my name. I'm proud of it, all right? It doesn't get the recognition it deserves. Truth be told, my emotional attachment to it doesn't even register compared to just having people recognize the difference. It's just that they're both sort of round and hollow, so when they monitor scan them, they assume that, oh, it's oh, vivisect me, please. No, 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 I, I get it, but, um... I mean, they do look a lot alike. I might as well take Dalla up on that self vivisection competition. Forget this. It's like talking to Klein's rear shell. Right, well, um, big fat zero it is from now uh, on. Uh, <laughs> what do you do around here? All things robotical. You see a robot? I made it. See a broken robot? I made it that way. Deconstructed it down to parts. I have a gift with machines. I can render anything inoperable. Preserve them in a non-functioning state. Uh, so... You're the least competent mechanical engineer on the planet? Who asked you? You just wait until a working machine threatens you, and you'll wish I was around! Uh, I... I've seen uh, people uh, that have your gift. Uh, say, um... About your name. What about it? I don't feel like arguing it with you, too. Okay, okay. Fine. Ask. Let's uh, forget uh, about that uh, big fat zero guy. Until our next scheduled audio transmission and reception, then. Yeah. Let's not schedule that. Ooh, this one's got an eye on... Oh, they all have all got eyes on the backside. What is that for? Hmm. You are an unusual specimen to so boldly walk into the mighty expanse of the think tank, fearless and proud as a teddy bear. Between the extraction of their higher reasoning abilities and urination-inducing fear, most lobotomites dare not approach us, let alone speak to us. Yet you have no such fear facing me. Epidermis flushed with blood, plasma running molten beneath, your face contorting with muscular expression. Will you indulge me? Say a few words. Face towards the monitors, please, so that I might record it for further examination. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wow. Um... She's just uh, a tiny, teeny, wincy breath away from uh, coming right here and now. Uh, the quick scribe jumped over the lazy paladin. Yes, yes, go on. Seeing your lips and mouth forming the words, both revolting and somehow... How mm -hmm. does it feel yeah. to have the flesh roll around in your mouth like that? to control each muscle and the tongue. 
like having a fish or extremely dexterous slug lolling and flopping in one's mouth cavity. Yeah, it's kind of um, like being an uh, elephant with a very short trunk uh, that uh, got stuck in your mouth. Essentially. Oh, uh, you wouldn't know about anything about that either, I see. Um, so, what do you know uh, about the Big Empty? The Big Empty? Now that's not a proper title for this research facility. You sound like previous test subjects that came here. Previous? This mountain, now crater, encompasses the sum total of knowledge of humankind. It is Big Mountain, where all questions can be answered. You'll see. No matter what your questions, Big Mountain will provide the answers, as it has done for so many before you. Previous test subjects? Who do you mean? Huh. Could it be that... No. No. Like, uh, questions like what? Previous test subjects who have come here have had many questions for us. We answered them with science, fire, and termination. Hmm. Uh, uh, say. This mountain, now crater, encompasses the sum total of knowledge of humankind. Right. It yes. Is big mountain okay. Where, where all, all questions, questions can, be can be answered. answered. You'll see. Yes. No. Yes. But you said. Like previous test subjects. Oh yes, we've had other subjects visit. It's why we had to calibrate the pacification field and warm up our brainial beams and vivisectors. Only a short time ago, we had three minus one subjects arrive, and they ruined several experiments and even injured two of our staff. It is a shame their brains left with them. With you, however, we have taken precautions to ensure that problem won't repeat itself. We've conditioned you so you can't speak of this place, discuss our secrets, or attempt to use force against us in any way. Isn't that nice? Hmm. Three minus one subjects. Uh... Do you have any sort of a reason why you're speaking in... <laughs> I mean, it sounds like you're French. Instead of saying 80, you'd say um, 4 times 20 or something. 3 minus 1? Because 3 minus 1 is 2. Two spoke to us, one after the other. One mean, one curious. But there was a third we didn't speak to. The last one is the minus 1. It got traumatized, then taken to one of our medical centers for de-traumatization. A rather unsettling procedure. Really? Hmm. And these visitors? Ask Dr. O. And you could have asked eight once, until he was severely damaged in the attack. We like him better this way. Right. Let's move on to something else, then. Perhaps you are stuck in a looping gesture of verbal intercourse. You seem very, very focused uh, on um, uh, all my uh, fleshy movements. Um, say, how will the tech I'm supposed to get help? It'll all become clear. If not, at least we will have the technology here at the Dome where all technology belongs. When we have all the technology, all the answers, we can share it with the world, piece by piece. All will be in order, and all will be like Big Mountain. Oh, please no. <laughs> it's terrible here. Um, I mean, it could be worse, but it's terrible compared to where I come from, and it's already terrible there, so... Huh. What can you tell me about this Dr. Mobius uh, character? Dr. Mobius? A monstrous brain creased with wrinkles of a thousand evils, with but one jaundiced eye with which to perceive the world. Exiled from the think tank for crimes too heinous to remain in recorded memory, and perhaps differences in research methodology. His one terrible eye forever peers at us, an eye of ever-increasing magnification. 
He watches from his dome in the Forbidden Zone, spying on us all. Right, uh, the dome of uh, Barad Ur. Oh no, no, that was something else. I, I uh, vaguely remember, maybe. I do feel strangely peaceful, um, but my hands are getting antsy from not being able to pick up anything from my pockets. It is the pacification field emitters that are broadcasting into the emptiness of your skull. Without a brain, your aggression is suppressed in here. Ah, I need a brain then. Any way to shut it off or without getting my brain? Why would you want such a thing? You might surrender to your hormones and commit primal aggression on me, on us, again and again. Then I would have to return the favor, activating my vivisectors and gently lobotomizing you from behind. Not something I would relish doing. No, the only way to circumvent the field is to have a brain. And we extracted that like we do all the lobotomites here. Right. Well, um, the way they talk about these lobotomites, they're horrible and there's lots of them prancing around. Wonder if they're friendly. Yeah, fat chance of that. Other questions, though. An interrogation. How fascinating. Please begin. So, you removed my brain and spine and heart. But how? How am I alive, breathing, walking around and talking to you? Oh, removing it is a simple procedure. Well, except the complications it can cause to the heart and spine. But once the heart and spine are gone, no trouble at all. Clamp the subject down. One laser incision around the skull. Crack. Snip. Done. The brain is finally free of the skin envelope, which is then kept automated for cleanup duties around Big Mountain. Lobotomites. Right. With you, however, something is definitely wrong. We've never had a lobotomite who kept speaking after being forcibly lobotomized. I am relieved the pacification field is working. If it didn't, I would broadcast some concern to my colleagues about safety protocols. Right, well, I'm glad that isn't the case too then. But, um, yeah, again, how am I still walking and talking? That is a good question. My theory is that the Tesla coils in your brain pan are still connected to your brain somehow. It really could be anywhere. Brains are a lot smarter than most researchers give them credit for. We still have your spine and heart. If you were to somehow find your brain, wherever it slurped off to, you could humanically reduce yourself again. Humanically reduce my... Ah, uh, they need some sort of dictionary in here. Um, how long has it been since they've uh, actually spoken to a person, I wonder? So, Dr. Zero over there, a big fat Zero, uh, is the uh, incompetent mechanic, and you are... Why, my little bear of teddiness. I am Dr. Dalla, first head chief researcher of mineralogy and medicinal sciences. I have 211 doctorates in both applied sciences and techniques to apply those sciences. I also possess a degree in curiosity and advanced curiosity. Oh, I'm curious about that. Schooling, however. When possible, I prefer fieldwork and observation to holotape eidetics. It has proven useful, especially now. Hmm. I have become the expert on humanology and lobotomite behavior here at Big Mountain. My research doesn't descend into formography. It is only science. I see. Uh, formography. 211. First head chief researcher. That's uh, a lot of titles to put uh, on a, uh, a desk plaque. What is a name without a title or suffix for the sake of hierarchy? It is a long-standing quantification of personality and importance. We could huh. not do without it. Surely you must be aware of the gravity of such attached appellations, just as surely as you must have a title. 
Huh. Well, I never really gave it a thought. Some people call me, um, Beretta, mostly. Others call me Courier, because that used to, well, that used to be my, my job. Hmm, I'll have to give it some thought. Well, uh, once I find a desk big enough, I'll uh, try to find a title long enough to cover the entire width of it. But, uh, uh, 211 doctorates. How old are you? Everything can be quantified, categorized, and dissected until every group can be subgrouped or partitioned. Uh-huh. And... You made up formography, right? It's excessive examination of the human form to achieve psychological arousal. Disgusting. Ah. I would never succumb to such base appetites. Distractions. Filthy, filthy distractions. Right, so that is exactly what you spend your time doing. I get it now. <laughs> right, uh... Well, I did have other questions, perhaps, um... An interrogation. How fascinating. Please begin. Uh, another thought. Uh, maybe I've had enough of a conversation with you. Um, let's not get you too excited. Until our next interaction, my intriguing little lobotomite. Ugh. Let's not get too close to her. Now there's the big boss. Oh, there's only five of these guys, I think, right? Well, it's more than enough, and uh, I think five too many. I wonder... Hmm. I wonder if Dr. Mobius was uh, somehow directly connected to... Uh, is he also a robot? Probably. Aha! Uh -huh. Right, you're the one that uh, cannot speak, maybe. Uh, do you understand me? Uh, hmm. Music. I did hear your voice module who got damaged in an attack, right? Ah, I think that's happy yes music, right? Right. Wonder if you could maybe try to answer a few questions. Hmm. Can you tell me about uh, Big Mountain? Hmm, that's a um, kind of a short answer. Are you... All right. It's always the same response. Hmm. Anything you can tell me about the attack, perhaps? Hmm, not sure what you meant. Right, well... I'll, um, maybe, uh, yeah, let's see. Anything you might be able to give us hints, uh, with just signals, uh, technology that Dr. Klein wants. Same. Hmm. You do seem to be a, a bit fidgety. Looking around all the time. Do you know anything about, uh, the big bad and Dr. Mobius? Okay, you're afraid of it. Uh, sorry. Um. Actually, what signals are you transmitting with? Maybe you can uh, try to use our Pip Boy to, um. Link up to your broadcast uh, protocol. Let's see. 
Oh. Well, I'm guessing maybe that's uh, about it. Well, working at so many uh, propco terminals uh, did uh, give us something to work with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I just realized I'm understanding you somehow, but uh, let's hold off uh, just a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it's hard to learn a new language. Uh, but it's a Robco terminal link protocol. It could be hacked, right? Hmm. I'm not going to take advantage of the exposed code. All right, all right. I'll be going now. Uh, say. Hmm. Force fields, missing modules. Dr. Klan and Boris. Hmm. Well, I could take a few of these. Ah, uh, don't matter. I'll take that as well. I uh, say, Dr. up. Any new discoveries? Ah, well, um, thank you. I'll uh, have some extra questions uh, on follow-up there. Yeah, happy, happy news. Um, say, what the hell did your son ejaculate into the, the Sonic Emitter thing? Ah, right. And nothing to be embarrassed about. Just um, trying to not get any sun ejaculation on me. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, about the sonic emitter thing. Uh. Projecto emitter, right. What? Higgs Village, can you point it out? Ah, so you actually lived there. I see, so uh, there's other emitter codes in there, right? Ah, I see. Two codes. Hmm. Okay. Um, well, I'll keep an eye out for both. Well, thank you. Very uh, enlightening. Uh, talking, well, communicating with you. Hmm. Have you come for hello? Oh, I'll give you a hello. A hello unsurpassed in all creation. Really? Well, so hello. The lobotomite animal before me. What other terrifying terrors will plague us in our quest for knowledge? Communists? 
Communist animals, perhaps? Be warned. Attempt to propaganda me. I will shriek as a frightened babe, calling loyal cyber dogs to my aid. Do you comprehend, commie animal? Now will you listen to me, Pilgrim? Hey, I ain't no commie rat. Really, an animal. Did you just call me an animal? Are you always this uh, dramatic? Drama? There is no drama in science. As I learned in high school, science is an intellectual pursuit devoid of bestial emotions. Unless, of course, you are a communist. Like Betsy Bright, who sat next to me in math, and her smoking confederate, Richie Marcus. As I learned in my high school, American High, AHS, drama is for movies, things of fiction. Here in the think tank, the only star is science. And big dramatic emphasis on really random words in the middle of sentences. What do you have to tell me about a big mountain? It is our home, threatened by the horrors of Mobius. All we wish to do is continue our research. Layer upon layer, above and beneath the floor of the crater, until we have our answers. But no, Mobius will not let us rest, scaring us with his scary robots, with their laser tails, and blowing up all the time. Ah, well, I did see the expanse from the balcony. You sure made a mess of this place. It was not our first choice of testing grounds, but we no longer have the luxuries of our test cities. Then we lost the mountain. After the explosion, we couldn't find it anymore. So the crater became our testing grounds for science. Yeah, um, that kind of uh, is the usual thing. Uh, you know, get up in the morning, you're trying to find a mountain and you can't find it so you go uh, looking under the sofa maybe you left it uh, in the fridge when you got out of your uh, uh, yogurt uh, you know mountains are things people usually uh, misplace um especially wait that you, you said explosion and crater where did you think the mountain go boom yes Quite unexpected, and embarrassing. All better now after the landscaping, though. Much more pleasing to our monitors. And the crater helps keep everything inside, because it is bowl-shaped. Right. You have some very odd fixations on your teenage years and um, daily items and... Huh. Test cities, you said. What cities? Yes. In the past, individuals would come to us, pay for technology, and if their town, community, or city was just right, we could use that city as a controlled experiment. vault was much better at it, of course. We had to make do. Get permission. Sometimes. If only we could have used commie cities. But capturing whole cities was hard, so we captured enough commies to make cities of our own. So we ah. had a group of Chinese prisoners to experiment on. Those were the days. But the true test was science on unsuspecting Americans. Whether it was holograms, new autodocs, toxins, vending machines, we wound them up, let them go into tiny, isolated towns. Then, we observed. You observed, uh, red neck them? Uh, what, what does putting people into tiny towns do, exactly? I have other questions. 
Submit your questions. I shall respond with deadly answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're all talk and uh, pretty much no action. Oh, oh, so far at least. Why do uh, we have to get these particular technologies? There is logic and purpose in it. If these technologies are needed to pierce the forbidden zone, so be it. Science is powerful and in the right hands. Our hands, if we had hands, we would be nigh unstoppable. But you don't have hands. And so technology will not be in your hands and so you will be completely stoppable. Uh, right, what about the um, perimeter fancy thing? The radar fence protects us all. If evidence is correct, the one who built it is me. It keeps anything with a disembodied brain inside, like us, and anything without a brain also inside. It ah. is the ultimate defense against communist aggression. There'll be no infectious ideas on my watch. Ah, so are all lobotomites brainless communist prisoners they tested on? Huh. That means that if we get our brain back into our head, we'll be able to just walk out. Hmm. So, uh, but that means you are also trapped in here, right? Trapped? Nonsense! We are secure here from evil philosophies. Right. Ever since my anxiety-filled days of powerlessness and being bullied in American high school, I have dreamed of such security as the fence. That right. and giant dogs that, makes that would sense ruthlessly now. patrol and kill anyone who wasn't my friend, like Richie Marcus and Betsy Bright. Who's laughing now, Betsy? Well, not you. I hope you and Richie are happy smoking in your radioactive coffins. I'm glad you never came to my birthday party. Ooh, that uh, left a sore spot, I see. Yes, uh, wasn't the saying, um... Good fences make good neighbors and uh, radioactive electric fences make uh, good uh, brainless uh, communist uh, monster neighbors. Yeah, uh, I think the, the saying uh, went something like that. Um, so, you never want to leave? No! Beyond is death, despite mounting evidence to the contrary. No matter where these strange humans wander in from with their ideas and new brains, there is nothing beyond Big Mountain. Aha! Uh, what? <laughs> Doesn't that mean the opposite? Enough! Stop filling my precious brain cell units with irrelevant data! Ah, you sound like the delusional, other right? making wild claims of a world beyond, where there is a war beyond war. It is unproven and unthinkable! Bother the other doctors with your crackpot theories. I have no time. None of us do. You have so much time. You have only time. Ah, right. So, um, this guy got uh, bullied in high school, was a jerk probably, uh, like he is now, had no friends, and uh, became a uh, a psycho, essentially. Interesting. A McCarthyist psycho. Do you know anything about Mobius and his Forbidden Zone? The malignant tumor that is Mobius plagues us all. His hunger for power, insatiable. 
from his lair in the Forbidden Zone, his terrifying robo-scorpion army clicks and whirs across the crater of Big Mountain, ever seeking, ever stinging. He must be stopped, or all of Big Mountain shall be destroyed. Well, hopefully... Maybe? Do I want Big Mountain to be destroyed? Probably not. Maybe I'll be able to fix your brains. Maybe you're just... Malfunctioning. Maybe... The lobotomites are nice. Uh, we'll be able to turn Big Mountain into a... A communist, brainless lobotomite utopia. What do you think about that? Dr. Boris. Boris, 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 and your circular thinking. Who are you and what do you do here? Incompetently, like everyone, <laughs> your colleagues. Before you is the brain of Dr. Boros, head of animology, bestology, and DNA scrambling technology here at Big Mountain. I lay the bones and hearts of animals bare beneath my searing gaze, especially the dogs. I did so love dogs once, especially Gabe, that rascal. But Gabe. there are many hmm. animals to shape. Industrious Cazadors. Oh no. lucky Night Stalkers. Oh no no no. My living, breathing DNA test Oh crap. You made... I hate you so much. You made Cazadors and those snake Night Stalker things? Indeed. Docile. Curious. Safe. Sterile. They are contained here at Big Mountain. Oh no, they're the not. DNA and for observation. So you think, uh... <laughs> those damn critters are all over the Mojave. No, such creatures are found only here, for research purposes. They would no more be capable of escape than breeding. Yeah. Been there, done that, yes they are, case closed. Your circular thinking and your circular... everything. Man, just keep going around and around and not see what the hell you're doing. They breed, all right. I've killed so many, I've lost count. I cannot expect a lobotomite to understand the careful surgical castrating procedures used in their creation. Perhaps a demonstration of my castrating power would settle your doubts. Well, if you put in a rocket launcher replacement to, to blow your brains out, knock yourself out. You might just make me more fertile, given your level of incompetence. Impregnate you? What? Do you want to make me vomit inside my tank? Oh yes, please. The mere notion makes the edges of my biomed gel crystallize into asymmetrical patterns. Ooh, not that. Not asymmetrical patterns. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. You don't seem to even have a basic grasp of what the hell you're doing here. Nonsense. That is what you speak. Nonsense from beyond. I was at the top of my high school class in American high school. I knew facts. I knew figures. I knew data. We would know if our research was flawed. It is not. We never contradict ourselves. So do not even try. Uh-huh. So, when did you create Cazadors? In 2000, let's see, carry the three, then count backwards from the Great Static, or beyond. There were the tarantula debates, and something about hawks which made it around. 2003, May, Tuesday, it was definitely Tuesday. 
Why are we even debating this? What you ask is of no importance. Mobius besieges us. There are more important things to worry about than data and facts. You just said that you knew data and facts and uh, here we are with you trying to uh, ignore data and facts. Yeah, circular logic but a, a circle that is impregnable to actual knowledge. I think I've had enough of you. Until next time, then. Provided there is a next time. For any of us. Uh, that was a depressing experience. What an idiot! Cazadors and Night Stalkers! What's next? He also created... Death Claws? I wouldn't put it past him, damned fool. How the hell do they hmm, get to the Mojave? How far away from the Mojave are we? Where is this place? And how long have the these guys been doing these experiments? And yeah, so how long ago did he create Casadors? And well, years and years and years. There's Populations of those things all over the place, so... Huh, I don't even know how their breeding cycle works, but... A long time ago. Oh boy, I'm even... I'm dreading the, uh, Potential, uh, experience of talking to the, um... Quote-unquote, big brain up there. Given the, uh... Catastrophically incompetent, uh specimens down here that might be a uh, mr super catastrophe right up there but we're going to find out however that is going to be next time till then